Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Robbery. This is for uh, 28th to Wednesday of August. Got uh, three, four games on the slate. Uh, all decent minds. Sun vs. Fever first game. Opened at one and a half, minus one and a half. Went down to minus three. Mystics plus two and a half. Uh, that's why you got a line shop. DraftKings right now got it at plus one and a half. You can find it at minus two on BetMGM. Uh, all close lines, little links. Opened up at minus three and a half. Stayed the same. Dream got, uh, I was four games. Dream got the biggest spread, all besides Liberty. Plus seven and a half. It's up to plus eight and a half. Liberty minus 12 and a half. Definitely blow up potential. I got a few player props, so let's get into them. First up, I'm going with Bonner. Now, if she don't come through, I'm going to have to fade her. But uh, points line at 14 and a half, you still might be able to find it. I just entered it, and it got bumped to 15 and a half. I still kind of like it. Uh... She's been having a rough time since she came back, since we came back from break. Playing Indiana, ranked 11th in points allowed. Guards ranked 12th, forward ranked 9th. She's a forward slash guard, skinny, tall, lanky, veteran for years. But uh, break it down, they're on three, day, three days rest. I break it down to three days rest every day this year. She has cleared it, coming off a three days rest. So taking that in consideration, uh, this is what it looked like for the year. But since we came back from break, she's definitely missed it a few times. I'll give her one more shot, just because of, like I said, Way games, three days rest, she's cleared it. Three days rest, not a way game, she's cleared it. I mean, and she's capable of going over it. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Shot chart. Playing the... Uh, Indiana, so defense ranked 12th, pace they ranked 6, points in the paint allowed ranked 3rd, 3 points allowed ranked 11th, she shoots some 3's, sometimes she can hit fucking 6 of them, other times she shoots none, <laughs> you know, that's WNBA for you though, but uh, the other thing that stuck out to me is free throws allowed, they're ranked 10th, so she does get fouled a lot and she can hit her free throws. Over here is her shot chart for the year, the way they play defense, and uh, people in her position, 60% hit rate for the year, people that play like a 60% hit rate for the year, so, so I mean it's definitely got a chance to hit, I'm leaning towards, I bet it myself, so obviously I think it's going to hit, but uh, my last chance, Bonner. You don't hear, hit it, you even fade in your points over 14 and a half. Let's get it. Next up, Marina Mabry. Points over 13 and a half. Minus 114, FanDuel. Same game, Indiana. 11th in points allowed to the guard position in last place. Since the break, she's got traded to Connecticut. They've been moving around a little bit, but she's been doing well. Uh, 
Well, I got it on. Last 10 games, 70% hit rate. But this is when she started. So, three for five. Over here, they started moving around a little more. She was just off a little bit. But uh, once again, we can break this down. Weight games. Gets a little better. We can break down the five because it's only been on the team. Four out of five. Uh, as well as three days rest. They're coming off of three games this year. She's cleared it. One of them, she's been on Connecticut. The other two, she was on Chicago. But, uh, yeah, she definitely can play, you know. 14, 13 and a half, 14. I'm going to play every time. As long as the matchup's good and she's going against a team that isn't crazy at uh, defense. Uh, she succeeded 13 and a half points in 13 of the last 17 games versus the bottom five defense. So yeah, I like it. Uh, shot chart. 13% under the basket, 13 in the paint, 18. Middies and uh, just about 50% behind the arc. So everywhere she shoots looks great. Players that play her position, 53% hit rate. Everything's in green up here. It's usually a good sign. And then this is supposed to be, like I say, people who play like her. At least that's what I got from it. Some more players. It's all green. All signs point to go. Maybe. 13 and a half. Let's get it. Hold up. Let's see what she's shooting. 45% from the field. 42% from three. It's one of the highest three-point uh, percentages in the, in the league. Chen chain I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. Uh, new viewers, if you like what you see and it's working for you, hit that subscribe button. Let's turn them notifications on. That's where you get my plays, my live bets. Anything I do, you get it. Uh, I try to be as transparent as possible. This way, everything's clear and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to look out. Uh, six people who hit that like button every day. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Uh, let's keep it moving. Brittany Sykes, points over 16 and a half. They got him on DraftKings. Right now, 17 and a half. It's on FanDuel, so that's why I always say have multiple books so you can get the better lines and the better odds. Uh, play the last game. Versus Seattle, the defensive team, she had 20 points. We played uh, points and assists. But uh, right now, points and assists, it don't make sense to add them. It just brings it over the line anyway. So uh, these numbers here, where she didn't cash, she just came back after the Olympic break, and she's been on minutes restriction. So they finally lifted it, and... Uh, she looks good. She's playing healthy. Uh, she's cashing it. So, yeah, we're going to rock with it until that number gets too high. Uh, check out the shot chart. Come on. Chicago, they got... We normally play the same people as long as the matchup's good. Kennedy Carter's out. She got COVID. As well as the other day we played uh, fuck is her name? I can't think of it. We played her points of rebounds. Alright. I just had it. 
But uh, she hurt her ankle, so she's not playing. She's on the Mystics. So it's another assist uh, reason why I didn't play the assist for her. But yeah, she's playing Chicago. Uh, defensive rating ranks seventh, pace ranks seventh, points in the paint ranked ninth, three points allowed, fourth, free throws allowed, eleventh, assist eighth, rebounds allowed, ranked sixth. Uh, Sykes shoots in here, forty-eight percent under the basket, nine percent in the paint, fifteen middies, and twenty-eight behind the arc. So the size uh, all looks good. People in her position, 53% hit rate. People that play like 50% uh, hit rate. Like I said, until the number gets up to like 18, I'm gonna continue to play it. 16 and a half, it's not 17, even 17 and a half, like 19 and a half, 18 and a half, and Bad matchup, yeah, I don't play it, but until then, we'll rock with it. No, I was just thinking, on YouTube, you could go through all these things. It tells you, you know, who's watching, what's watching, how they're watching. And it said uh, a certain amount of people watch, you know, from their phones and this and that. So just uh, let me know where you're watching from. It said some TVs. Other things, so I was curious. Uh, yeah, so do that in the comments section. But uh, Bridget Carlton, if you've been watching, you already know where I'm going. Two and a half threes, plus 164, FanDuel. Uh, I like to play this every time she plays. Now for the year, we've been killing it. It's always plus money for the most part. Eventually, when she hits it three forties in a row, they drop it down to like, you know, minus one twenty, uh, like plus one hundred five. I mean, but uh, she does miss it occasionally. This was the first time in a while she missed it two days in a row, and uh, I'm fucked up because I didn't bet her this day. She hit it. She missed it, we bet it, she missed it. I didn't bet it, she hit it, and then I fucking bet it, and she uh, and she missed. And uh, I've been laying off it a little bit, trying to uh, let her catch back up. But then she went off like normal, hit four. She don't always hit four, but she usually gets three. Uh, Great matchup, Phoenix 12th and three points allowed to the forward position, ranked seventh, but man, it's not gonna matter. Uh, for the year, she's shooting 50% from three. Averaging three and six attempts. Uh, I'm gonna continue to rock with it. It's just one of them things where, especially at that plus money, even when she misses it, you know, I lose because you keep your unit size the same, the amount you bet. So when she does miss it, you lose your bet size. But at plus 150, plus 160, every time you win, you're winning three times the amount you bet. So I'm going to rock with it. Hopefully she stays back on and uh, I can focus it in again. But I uh, like three points. They're ranked 12th. Most of her shots, a little bit inside. They got a points line at eight and a half, too. Uh, if you don't want to take the threes, because it is more risky, uh, take a points line. Also, like the rebounds, at, uh, they got her rebounds at three and a half. I was going to play them, but I took them off. But uh, if you're looking for something like that, I'll show you. She also hits this all the time. She don't get much over it, but she gets over it. Uh, overall, Phoenix last place, rebounds allowed. Ninth place to the forward position. 
She's exceeded three and a half rebounds, seven of the last nine games on the road. So that's a good play too. I didn't bet that on. I just took it off because I got five bets as it is. But uh, also, like I said, her points line, I think they got it. It's at eight and a half. So she hits three threes, it's nine points. She's definitely going to hit a couple twos. So this is be the safest bet. Points over eight and a half. So you might want to play that. I took the risk with the threes. But um, just use your judgment. Let's get it. Two times she played Phoenix. She didn't score a lot. It's these games. Uh... It's not that game. Fuck is it? Right there. Short four points. Could have just hit head to head. That's why the points line is so low because they played twice this year, earlier in the year. Six seven six twenty two. She scored four points, which is bad games. I don't think it has to do with the defense, but that's why her points line is so low. It's usually at like ten and a half, eleven, and they like it's high. But yeah, let's get it. Bridget Carlton. I played the threes over two and a half plus one sixty. Safest bet would be the points eight and a half. Also like her rebounds at three and a half. Points over 21 and a half, minus 114, FanDuel. They got that 19 and a half, so if you're batting a lot, like I say, always all line it back. Uh, Phoenix, ninth in points allowed, eighth to the forward position. She hit this four out of the last five since they came back from the break. Uh, she was injured before that. She played in the Olympics, so then she's been playing. Uh, last five games, she was 66% from the field, 42% from three, 70 from the foul line. She's exceeded 21 and a half points for the last five. First and bottom five in defense. Yeah, it's uh, actually my first time betting her. I probably should have bet her sooner. Just don't really like betting them when their points lines are so high, but she's been going over it. And I watched her play the other day, and she's flawless. Like, she looked good. A lot of these women, you know, feel like they just filled the league with them to play. Like Carrigan, I'll never bet Carrigan again. She runs it up, throws the way she throws that ball at the backboard, do a layup, it's retarded. Like it's crazy. Never bet on her again. Uh <laughs> yeah, I'm salty. Play is uh a shot shot, forty percent under the paint. Under the basket, twenty one in the paint, twenty one midi is seventeen behind the arc. So she should be lighting them up. People who play like a uh, 60% hit rate. Spot up, defense is ranked 11th. Free throw is eighth. Everywhere she shoots and how she plays, all signs point to go. So yeah. That site's called Props Madness, by the way. I like it just for the shot chart and that little couple of tidbits it gives you. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's get it. Uh, decent day. Hit that plus 160, Sobbly. Uh, Plum shit the bed. <coughs> Excuse me. Once again, there's another one. Every time I bet on her, she fucks up. It's crazy. You know, but, uh, hey, that's sports betting for you. 
Appreciate everyone. Let's make it a good day. Need some money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Like, subscribe, comment. Okay.